the next tooth we'll be waxing is the mandibular right first premolar tooth number 28 So first thing, <clears throat> if we take a look at this tooth, it's a very small tooth and it's also a very different tooth. It's kind of short from the cusp tip to the gingival and the most distinguishing characteristic of this tooth is that the lingual cusp is super low. It's like a um, transition between the mesial cusp of the second premolar to the canine so it kind of goes straight down. If we look at it from the side we have the lingual cusps of the molars higher and then the uh, cus lingual cusp of the second premolar a little lower and then we have the first premolar here the lingual cusp is a lot shorter and then it disappears when we get to the uh, canine the second main distinguishing characteristic is that the lingual cusp is larger on the distal than it is on the mesial like this tooth especially the cusp on the mesial is almost not even there it's a vestigial cusp so it's in the process of uh, disappearing so that's what we have to think about when we're waxing the other side so on the second premolar we have the mesial cusp larger on the first premolar we have the distal cusp larger so that they kind of transition and then they transition to no cusp at the uh, premolar site I mean at the canine site the canines are straight down so if we had too big a cusps on the first premolar the patient would uh, feel it with their tongue as a huge transition between the premolars and the canines 